Um, but if you've got something wrong with your brain, um, then there's a very different approach. It's more kind of looking at symptoms and um, it's framed completely differently. And I don't think we can be wholly reliant on um, just symptoms because what is underlying the symptoms is, is, is really important. Like a lot of people don't take the time to have a holistic, integrative approach to brain health. For example, when you go to your GP, say you're feeling irritable or fatigued, or you've got low mood, it's been persistent for, for some time, that doctor's likely to read a, a series of sort of statements on the computer screen, depending where you uh, fit on the threshold, the pres prescription pad will come out, you're likely to be d diagnosed um, with having some sort of depression and be given a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor and told to come back in three to six months and certainly in, in England when if you're lucky you might get a referral to some talking therapy but that's about your lot and the question you know what do you eat seldom or never features in that initial uh, appraisal or screening mental health screening and that's a shame because you know we know that sort of B vitamins and folate and omega-3 fatty acids and vitamin D kind of work together to help make serotonin, the neurotransmitter that governs kind of well-being 